Arrested Development Physics by Nick Anderson and Corey Kern. George Michael Bluth throws a .35 kilogram banana across the room and three seconds later it hits his Uncle Buster's .35 kilogram prosthetic claw, which is seven meters away, onto a table which then falls off onto the floor, the table being two meters high. For this entire problem, we will be ignoring air resistance and friction. Another note, this is a closed system. Part A. Find the force the banana exerts on the claw as they collide for .02 seconds. Note, the banana is forced to a stop after the collision. Given. And we also know that acceleration is, due, is the change in velocity over the change in time. The acceleration of the banana during the collision can also be seen as negative 2.33 meters per second minus 0 meters per second over 0 0.02 seconds. This is the, the initial velocity minus the final velocity over the change in time. This gives us negative 116.5 meters per second squared. For sig figs, we will be using 120 meters per second squared. Known the force. The equation we will be using is net force equals mass times acceleration, which is already solved. Plug and chug the values. Force equals 0.35 kilograms, which is the mass of the claw, times 116.5 meters per second squared for the acceleration. We get 41 newtons. We know that the banana is traveling at a constant velocity of 2.3 seconds because according to Newton's first law, an object in motion will stay in motion at a constant velocity. It is also known that the force is directly proportional to the acceleration of a body, so we may use the equation force equals mass time acceleration. Lastly, it is known that for every action there is an equal opposite reaction. This is why we could find the force exerted upon the banana and use it for the hook because they are equal and opposite. We found the acceleration of the banana using given velocities. We did not need to find the velocity of the claw. Part B. Find the momentum of the claw after it is hit with the banana. Assume that this is a completely inelastic collision. Given. The Our unknown values are the velocity of the claw finally and the momentum of the claw finally. The equation we'll be using is derived from net momentum initially is equal to net momentum finally, which can also be written as momentum of the claw initially plus the momentum of the banana initially equals the momentum of the claw finally plus the momentum of the banana finally. We will now solve for the momentum of the entire system initially. It can also be written as the momentum of the claw initially plus the momentum of the banana initially. The momentum of the claw initially is zero because it has zero velocity. The momentum, therefore, the entire momentum initially is the momentum of the banana, which is 0.35 kilograms times 2.3 meters per second, which comes out to be 0.805 kilograms meters per second. For significant figures, we will be using 0.81 kilograms meters per second. We are looking for the final momentum of the claw. In order to do that, we must isolate that value. We get the equation, the momentum of the claw finally equals the momentum of the claw initially plus the momentum of the banana initially minus the momentum of the banana finally. The momentum of the claw finally is equal to the momentum of the claw initially plus the momentum of the, the change in the momentum of the banana. Plug and chug, 0.35 kilograms times 0 meters per second for the claw initially is 0, plus 0.35 kilograms times 2.3 meters per second for the initial banana, and minus 0.35 kilograms times, me, uh, times 0 meters per second for the final banana momentum, which comes out to 0.81 kilograms meters per second. Yet again. 
able to use the law of conservation of momentum to find the final velocity of one mass because the equation of the conservation of momentum is also equal to the momentum initially of many values added together equal to the momentum finally of many values added together. Momentum is constant within a system. Part C. Find the velocity in the y direction of the claw just before it hits the floor after rolling off the table which is 2 meters high. What we need to know is the velocity final of the claw in the y direction. We will be using the equation, uh, the change in energy is equal to the change in potential energy plus the change in kinetic energy, and in this case, that e all equals zero because it's conservative forces, because we're neglecting air resistance. After plenty of math, we get the velocity final is equal to the square root of 2 gh initial. When we plug and chug, we get the 6.867 meters per second. For significant figures, we will be using 6.9 meters per second. Using the idea that energy is conserved in a system, we were able to use the equation the change in energy equals the change in potential energy plus the change in kinetic energy. At the top of the table, all the energy was potential. And at the bottom of the, the, ta uh, of the fall, all the energy was kinetic. So we were able to set the initial potential energy to the final kinetic energy to find V.